So I wanted to make a video like last week when the blogs were reporting on who might be replacing Tamar on the reel, but that day she shaded Tamira on Twitter, so I decided to make a video about that instead. But I still want to share with you what Lonnie Love had to say about what's going to happen to that fifth co-host chair on The Real. And I want to share with you what Keisha Knight Pulliam had to say about her experience when she auditioned to host The Real. I'm going to start with the Lonnie Love interview from June, actually, because that's the interview where she confirmed to everyone that that fifth co-host chair was going to be filled. Because at that time, people were wondering if they would just leave it at four co-hosts. We don't know who they're going to uh, choose. Mm -hmm. um, we're going through that process right now. Will um, you have another person at all, or will you just keep it at four? No, we're going to have another co-host, um, because the whole purpose of the show is to get as many different personalities as we can, and so we will be, you know, looking for we're another okay. co-host. So once Lonnie Love put it out there that there was going to be a fifth co-host, that's when the blog started discussing who they think might be up for the job based on their sources. And the candidates that the blogs mentioned were Mel B, Ashanti, Eve, and Miss Monica. And at one point, Keisha Knight Pulliam talked on her podcast about how she and Amber Rose had actually interviewed and auditioned to host The Real back when it first started. Both of us, when they were doing the real talk show, mm -hmm. they literally brought all different types of personalities in to test for the show. Right. She was in the first round, so I met her briefly in passing. Um, and I was telling Shardy this the other day, that it actually, I, it came down to me and the panelists that are currently on the show. Um, and basically it was like, you know, Adrian checked the single box and then someone else because they were trying to check specific boxes. So at the end of the day, it didn't happen for me. And at first I was really sad because like, clearly I like to talk and <laughs> clearly I always have an opinion, mm -hmm. but you know, things happen the way they're supposed to. And, um, you know, what's for you is for you. But based on what Lonnie Love has said in her most recent interview about the reel, it seems that Tamar is actually not going to be replaced. There's not going to be a fifth co-host and that the fifth chair is going to be basically a rotating chair where different women come on different days of the week and co-host with them. Season three is going to be phenomenal. And I know there's a lot of changes that's happening. And what I can tell the people out there is that Warner Brothers which is a studio, they're making the decisions on what they want to do as far as a co-host. I believe it will be guest co-host and, you know, that's what we're going to deal with. So that's where I think Mel B, Ashanti, Eve, and Monica come in. I think they're going to be rotating that fifth chair along with other women um, that have possibly auditioned to be on the reel in the past. And that is along the lines of what The View does with co-hosts like Raven Simone who doesn't have the best ratings they switch her out to where she's not on every day I think the real is going to be doing the same thing and I think that's why in their promo pictures for their new season they just have the four hosts because I think it's only going to be four permanent hosts and one rotating chair 